lifelong dream. I thought oh, if I could just spend one one summer in Provincetown, wouldn't that be wonderful? And I I did get to do that. And um, it, I it was right after I was divorced, and I stayed on a in a place called Poor Richard's Landing, which uh, is uh, actually it's right next to the William Scott Gallery. I don't know if you're familiar with that mm. gallery. And two guys that I know. Uh, uh, own and ran it, and I was dating the woman who was managing the gallery at the time. And uh, so I had two or three chapters of my memoir written, and I came to find out the guy that was staying above me at Poor Richard's Landing was a guy named Kevin Sussums. Kevin uh, had written a bunch of a um, celebrity profiles for, I think it was Allure magazine. And he had just gotten a contract to write his memoir, which a uh, uh, great title, Mississippi Sissy, that was the name of it. And so he was kind of a brusque guy, uh, a little bit off-putting, but I finally got up the nerve to ask him if he would read what I had written. And so I handed him the couple of chapters. And for about the next three days, I spent in just agony because I'd see him walking down the walkway there at, at poor Richard, you know, cigarette in one hand, and he's got my manuscript in the other, he's back and forth. And it was just agony for me. So finally, he says, uh, come upstairs. So I do, he invites me in, <laughs> he hands me a cocktail and a joint. Sit down, he says, and I thought, oh boy, I'm in for it. <laughs> you know, if I'm going to need a cocktail and a joint to hear this. So he said, here's the thing. He says, the good news is you can write. The bad news is you're not a writer. And I didn't know how to take that. And so he explained to me, he says, you got all the tools. He says, you, you can write vividly. I'm in the scenes there. I see what's happening. All of that. You've got the, you know, facility with the language. He said, but what I'm missing here is you. I don't see you in this story, nor do I have any idea why it is that I should be, that I should read this. And he said, if you're going to make this work, you're going to have to put yourself into this story. You're going to have to figure out what it really meant to you. And you're going to have to be hard on yourself, as hard on yourself as you are on any other character in the story. And he says, I can't tell you whether you're going to be able to do that. Some people can't. Some people who are really good writers cannot do what I just said you're going to have to do. And, uh, and he was right. It took, I think it's, it took me years after that to finally get perspective on that story so that I could stand back away from it in retrospect and figure out why it was apart from the glitzy, over-the-top, excessive behavior and exotic settings and sex and drugs and all of that stuff, you know, what that meant to me and why it was that I um, was drawn to that world and how to put myself in it and have perspective on it. So it took, it, that was an important lesson, what Kevin Sussman told me that day is anything I learned in the MFA program or any other writing workshop I've ever taken is that uh, the difference between being able to write and being a writer. <laughs> <laughs>